Hello there, it's a Monday morning. Thanks for joining us on TDC Breakfast. And let's bring you the news update for the time. Commit to quit. And that's a theme for this year's commemoration of World No Tobacco Day, which seeks to inform the public on the dangers of using tobacco, the business practices of tobacco companies, but what people around the world can do to claim their right to health and healthy living and to protect future generations. Uh, the World Health Organization is urging all countries to play their part by creating tobacco-free environments and smokers face a 40 to 50 percent higher risk of developing severe diseases and death from COVID-19. And that's according to the World Health Organization. Let's talk about that briefly. So joining me now on Zoom to discuss this is Executive Director Corporate Accountability and Public Participation Africa, Akimbode or Olua Femi. Uh, Femi, it's good to have you join me this morning. Uh, talk to us basically. The theme for this year, uh, the No Tobacco Day, is commit to quit. How significant is that in the campaign against uh, smoking? So tobacco um, is a product that kills um, half of its users if used as the producers recommend. And globally today, it kills over seven uh, million people in Nigeria we're counting uh, close to 2,000 every year of people that die as a result of deaths, diseases um, associated with smoking. And uh, WHO has put up this day, you know, to mobilize people across the world, mobilize government across the world that we need to take action in terms of policy, in terms of changing of lifestyle to reduce those deaths that are associated with smoking. Um, so today's team is committing to quit um, because when you stop to smoke, um, you could reverse all those diseases that um, are associated with smoking. When you stop to smoke, um, you could reverse those figures that I just told you about. And that when you quit, uh, you are a winner, you win back your health, you win back your economic system, uh, and you win back all those things that tobacco uh, as a product has taken away, either from you as a person or has taken away from you or from us uh, as a country. All right, now the, the World Health Organization has said that uh, about 60% of uh, world tobacco users uh, are willing to quit, but only about 30% of that have access to cessation services. C can you talk to us about this, what cessation services could be in this regard, especially when people would like to quit and they'll need assistance to do that? So cessation services are incorporated usually um, into the you know, public health aid system services to um, help people um, either to counseling or to some, some medication to be able to leave tobacco as we, we all know it. Um, and that figure, when you look at, you know, WHO says 30% is actually worse in our own part of the country because um, I can tell you that, I mean, almost zero percentage uh, do have access to cessation services, let's say in a country like ours, Nigeria, uh, because cessation, counseling, uh, has not been an integral part of our system, of our public health system. And that's why today we're basically calling on government to, in to include cessation services into the public health care system. But let me tell you this. Um, before you could be able to have successful cessation practices, government in itself needs to remove all the environment that promotes tobacco products, remove all the environment that encourages our youth to take up smoking habits in the first place. And how do you do that? We currently do have two laws in Nigeria, the National Tobacco Control Act 2015 and the National Tobacco Control Regulation 2019. Government needs to take a major step, a bold step, by effectively enforcing those laws and remove those environment that, you know, allow our youth to pick up smoking so easily. All right. Now, uh, WHO, in, in, in the launch of its campaign, Commit to Quit, said they are ready to uh, help about 100 million people quit uh, smoking. Uh, I wonder how realistic this will be, especially for countries like Nigeria that you were making reference to, where we are 
and sub-Saharan African countries. How realistic is this to achieving this within a period of time? I think what WHO meant is not that it's going to set up cessation services in all the countries. WHO actually, I mean, is governed and, uh, by you know, several countries. Um, it's an organ of the UN system. And when they're talking about doing this, they're thinking about putting in place programs, you know, activities that governments can key into in their own countries and implement and get people to quit. So my, my take on this is that the Nigerian government, African government should plug into this initiative and begin cessation services to get their citizens to drop uh, the tobacco stick. All right. Now, over the years, there has been the issue of campaign against uh, smoking and creating awareness. How effective has this been over the years from your uh, assessment of the situation? First and foremost, um, we do have um, some good news, even from Nigeria, that um, smoking rates appears to be dropping. We're yet to celebrate. And if that is finally validated, it means that that advocacy, those campaign works. Um, as I told you, we were able to get to SCTC compliant um, laws and law and regulation in Nigeria, those are major steps that we need to take to ensure that um, we see those media reduction. Um, we're talking to government on the issue of taxes, that government needs to increase taxes on tobacco products. Um, and as I said earlier, the issue of enforcement. I, I think basically we're on the right track. We're supposed to be doing what we're supposed to, what to do, but the government is taking those actions very slowly. We need to move fast. People are dying. Um, Nigerians are dying. You know, there is a linkage between smoking and COVID. Um, and that when you contract COVID um, as a smoker, you have the tendency to be hospitalized, um, go to the third degree or even die. So this is a time for all of us across the world to take this very seriously, you know, in terms of the measures we could do as parents, what we could do with our children, and um, for even uh, educationists, ministries of education speaking to enforce the ban on smoking around schools. Uh, and then we also launched a campaign on smoking in the entertainment industry. Good news yesterday, Omotola Jela, the one of the icons of the Nollywood industry just tweeted that she will she is supporting this campaign and that um, she will take actions never to engage in smoking in movies. I think gradually we begin to have some routine, but we need more action. Mm. All right. Now, you talked about the issue of enforcement. If we have to put that in context, what areas of enforcement are you recommending that government should put in place? So critically, we are looking at um, the ban of, smoke, of uh, tobacco, uh, the ban of tobacco product advertising and sponsorship, because those are areas that um, you know kids and you know impressionable minds are easily initiated into smoking. So we want the ban on the advertisement of tobacco products to be total. Uh, we know they are moving to the digital media, the social media. We want government to enforce that. We've been talking to government about, you know, putting in place pictorial warnings, pictures that our people could see about the dangers of smoking on cigarette packs as it's obtaining, you know, even most parts of the world. In you know, Ghana now, countries around us in Africa, we no longer need to side Europe uh, beginning to enforce those laws. So we're asking government to do that. We're asking government to ban the sale of tobacco products to minors, kids, kids under 18. And uh, by then, you know, uh, so it will be legal for, like the way I grew up, for an adult to ask me to go light off for them. We don't want to see our children in any way coming into contact uh, with smoking, ban or smoking in public places. Uh, people who do smoke should not do that to endanger others. Okay. We are asking governments to put in place taxes on tobacco products. It is it. Those are the measures and they are there in the law for the government to enforce. Okay. I uh, will look forward to those practical and uh, real steps for the government to take. Thank you so much, Ulua Femi Akimbodi, for uh, talking to us. You are the Executive Director of Corporate Accountability and Public Participation Africa. Thank you so much for talking to us on TVC Breakfast. Thank, thank you so much. Right.